Hi, I'm Marie Elizabeth Molly, and this is Relationship Alchemy. Today we're talking about unexpected ways you may be blocking love. Now, there are the obvious ways that we self-sabotage around love, but what I want to talk about today are some of the more subtle and unexpected ways that it might be happening. Because I have a resource for you that I want to send you, and I want to talk about some of these ideas that are in this resource. So an example of an unexpected way you may be blocking love is when someone gives you a compliment, you deflect it. Someone sends love your way in the form of a compliment. Maybe they compliment your hair or something you're wearing or the way you did something. They compliment how you did it. And so many times we will say back, oh, you know, let's say they compliment your shirt. It's like, oh, this old thing or, oh yeah, my hair. Uh, yeah, I guess it's okay today, but I really need a haircut. Or I'm thinking specifically of an example about me when I was 16 in a voice lesson with my voice teacher, I sang this entire song well, but I messed up one note. And she said, oh, you know, your phrasing was so good in this song. And I said, yeah, yeah, but the high note. I couldn't even take the compliment. I deflected the love that came toward me in the form of the compliment by focusing on the thing I didn't like or focusing on some truth that was important to me but really didn't matter. So I invite you to reflect on, do you do this? Do you deflect compliments? That is a love block. Another example of a way that you might be blocking love is when someone asks if you want some help with something and you say, no, I've got this. That was love being offered to you in the form of help. And you, because you're wedded to your (laughs) self-reliance over connectedness, (laughs) said no to that love. Now, why does this even matter? Because when you deflect love in these little ways throughout the day, it all adds up to a message out to the universe of, I don't need anybody. I don't need anything. I like, I'm good. Or nothing's ever good enough. You know, someone compliments your hair and you complain that you need a haircut. It's like you're sending the message out to your life that nothing's ever good enough. You don't really need connection. You can do it all yourself. And when that's the message that's being sent out, that's what tends to come back. And you feel unsupported, perhaps, or you feel not as close to people as you'd like to be. And I know what I'm talking about is kind of subtle, but that's my jam. I'm, I'm about the subtle things that set up the bigger things that are more obvious. In a lot of ways, that's, that's a lot of what I tune into are these subtle ways, like you're like, oh yeah, I'm open to love. I want a relationship. I want to feel closer to my partner if you're in a relationship. And then your partner offers to help you with something. You're like, nope, I got this. So you're refusing that bid for connection. You're refusing the love that's extended your way. The point I'm making is to be aware of the ways that kindness, love, attention come toward you on a daily basis and how often, just check in, how often do you deflect it? How often do you turn away from it and focus on how alone you feel? Because my guess is there's a lot more love available to you and perhaps even coming toward you right now than you are receiving, than you are receiving and assimilating. Just because you may not be receiving and assimilating it doesn't mean it's not there. Doesn't mean it's not coming your way. So I invite you to consider that there might be ways you could open to love. Now you could be in a happy relationship. Everything's going great. And you could still be doing some of these love blocking things. For example, you could fixate on the tiny things that aren't working instead of appreciating and being grateful for and actually expressing appreciation to your partner for what is working. 
You could focus on the one wrong note instead of the whole phrase that was beautiful, just like I used to do. So my invitation is, if that's your orientation, if you tend to pick apart and look for what's wrong all the time, that's another love block because it affects your ability to receive and assimilate the love that's here already. I have a whole cheat sheet for you of 10 ways that you might be blocking love that I would love to send you. So we're going to put the link to that in the show notes and you can go grab that at that link. And I just want to say that so much of our experience depends on our perception. What are the lenses that we are looking through the, at the world toward our relationships, toward ourselves? Being aware of the lens through which you're looking. Is it the lens of not enough? Is it the lens of I don't get to have what I want? Is it the lens of I have to do it all myself? Is it the lens of I'm not supported? Once you know what lenses are your typical lenses through which you're looking, you can begin to do something about them. So today I've been talking about ways that you might be blocking love, many of which I have done. I used to deflect compliments. It takes a lot of presence when someone says something to you and you don't feel perfect about yourself because who does to just say, oh, thank you. You don't need to correct their perception. How great that their perception of you is that you did well or you look good or something positive. Why correct it? What is that need to downplay? That, you got to examine that, that need to downplay. I know that we are conditioned as women to stay small and downplay our achievements and downplay, you know, whatever it is. I'm thinking in particular right now of the way so often I hear women say, oh, you know, oh, yeah, oh, I got this on sale. Like, oh, that looks really beautiful on you. Yeah, I got it on sale. God forbid we should spend money on a thing that looks good. Next time, just say, oh, thank you. Yes, I love this. I love this piece. Thank you for noticing. That is a stretch. And that increases your ability to receive more love. And that, my dear, is the name of the game. Because the more you exercise and expand your receiving muscle, the more can come toward you. And all these little ways, I'm talking about little ways, subtle ways that you block or deflect the good that's coming your way in the form of a compliment or the offer of help or friendship or whatever it is, these little ways that you deflect add up eventually to a habit of a lack of receptivity, a habit of doing having to do, 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 instead of being able to sit back and receive. So I invite you to begin with these subtle ways that you might be blocking love. Grab the cheat sheet. Notice if any of these top 10 are your thing. If you're doing any of them, start to transform them. If you have questions about how to transform them, reach out to me. This is a lot of what I work with my clients on. So start to transform, start to go against the habit. Just say thank you to the compliment. Pile more on. Thank you. Yes, I love this piece. Isn't it great? Like stretch yourself in this way to receive more and add instead of block. And with that, you can watch your life transform. Watch how much will come toward you, how much more will come toward you when you become a gracious receiver, when you become someone who invites more love, who invites connection instead of subtly blocking it because of whatever discomfort you have inside around receiving, around being seen, around being helped, around being supported. That's my invitation for today. We've been talking about unexpected ways you may be blocking love, Go down to the show notes, grab that cheat sheet, and I'm here should you want to talk about how to change it. Have a beautiful day, and remember, a great relationship starts with you.